Well, with the election approaching us, huh? We hear a lot about polls, right? Polling and polls, and, uh, what candidate is ahead and where, and all these kinds of things about polls. All right. Well, we just thought it's very appropriate. For us to have a poll this morning. Now, is everybody ready? Okay. Well, just to keep everybody a little happier here, this isn't a political poll, okay? We've had those. This poll asks us how many here want to go to heaven? How many here? Anybody? No, no comment. Okay, all right. Well, then you must be ready for the second question in the poll. How many want to go there this morning? Wow, I, I think this poll was pretty unanimous here. Well, in our gospel today, Jesus talks to us about heaven. You might recall that he's talking to the Sadducees. They, and they ask him a question. And the Sadducees were people who didn't believe in heaven. And they ask him an absurd question, hoping that he gives a foolish answer. Now, but Jesus uses the time to talk to us about heaven. And he says, heaven is the place where we are all filled with the love of God. We are all filled with the love of God. And we are all brothers and sisters with God as our parent. We are one with God, one with each other. Now, in heaven, we realize this oneness. We realize this. That's the difference between heaven and earth. Because if we're all one with God, and we're all children of God, that means we belong to God, right? We are God's children. We are God's people. Now in our gospel, the Sadducees treat the woman as if she were a piece of property. Okay, who owns her? Who belongs to? Who does she belong to? And Jesus said, first and foremost, she belongs to God. She belongs to God because she's a child of God. What's heaven? Heaven's that place where we are all <clears throat> filled with the love of God and we are one with God and one with each other. We are children of God. Our job is to bring heaven to earth. That's our task. And this is nothing new. Remember the Our Father. Our Father right in heaven says, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, if we're going to see, <clears throat> if we're going to do the will of God, the challenge is to realize that we are all brothers and sisters with God as our parent. And when we treat each person we meet 
as someone who belongs to God, in a way we're bringing heaven to this earth. Now most of us would have to admit that seeing God in each person can be a tough thing to do at times, can't it, huh? Seeing God in some people can be very hard. But maybe an example will help. One of the workers down at the Brady Center knew the two young men had stolen her cell phone and another woman's purse from her vehicle. And when she confronted them about it the next day, they threatened to harm her. Now our first reaction would be, that young man is a thief and a criminal for doing it. Stole something. But she chose to see him as someone who belongs to God, a child of God. So with the help of the police, they were able to find out not only one of the boy's names, but who his mother was. And with that, a meeting was set up between the boy, his mother, a police officer, and herself. Now at this meeting, she confronted the young man and said how difficult it is for her to forgive him because on that cell phone were pictures of her young children. And those pictures, as you know, they can't be replaced. And they were precious to her. It was a tough meeting. But in the end, the young man agreed to, <clears throat> to help her at the Brady Center. The police officer agreed. And in the end, his mother <clears throat> sent him off to relatives in another city to get him away from the bad element that he was hanging around with here. She chose to see God in another person. And that's our challenge. But you know, challenging as that is to see God in others, I think the greatest challenge is to see God in ourselves. Can we look at ourselves and say, I am loved by God. God is in me. I am loved by God. God is in me because I'm a child of God. Because if we don't see the love of God for us, and that God is in us, it makes it much harder to see God in somebody else. So as we continue now and prepare to share in the body and blood of Christ, let's ask our God for the grace that we might, the grace and the strength to see God in ourselves and see God in each person that we meet.